In the name of my ancestors, peace forever and always, and welcome to another edition of the Realities Tip on Earth Internet Ministry. Of course, I am the gatekeeper or the host of this particular program, known here on the internet, here on social media, as the mighty, 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 mm. Angel Snub Nub 7, I'm your brother and hopefully your friend, Tali Ibn Ra. Before I continue, I would like to first give honor and respect to the, I would believe this is the 117th birth anniversary of my spiritual father, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. <clears throat> With that said, I have about 12 minutes, so on this busy, let ye get busy. I want to say and send shouts out to my brother, King Noble, Black Supremacy, and all those who support, and all those who follow, all those who donate, all those who rally behind this young man of whom in my most humble opinion, if it means anything, is one of the greatest voices besides my own. <laughs> perhaps he is greater. Perhaps he is perhaps he is the most powerful voice on social media. And you want to know something? I have no problem with that. I have no problem with stepping aside and watching a man or even a sister rise up from among us willing to sacrifice their life so they can help liberate a people who have become lost, deaf, dumb, and blind to the knowledge of self and others and who deserve a chance at happiness after 400 years of hell. So, I want to talk to Brother King Noble, and I want to talk to others who are sort of like him that is needed in this movement. I have spoken to Brother King Noble on the telephone, we have Skype, so we know each other, we know where we come from. <clears throat> Brother King Noble is the only young man, the only so-called black celebrity type person on YouTube or, or on social media where I can say what I want to say about his opinion and he does not say, oh, you hate me. Oh, you don't like me. You are Asian. Brother King Noble has taken anything that I've said 
about his opinion like a grain of salt and move on. In fact, we've grown to help each other in our history. I want to make very clear. I don't agree with everything that King Noble says or what he does. For those of you who follow the Realities Tip on Earth ministry, you know I have a problem with the word black supremacy. I have a problem with us when we when we begin to concentrate on our sexual selves when we should be trying to use all energy in order to free ourselves. I don't have time for orgies when I'm trying to rid myself of an oppressor. However, there are many of you, you are into orgies, you worship the penis and the vagina, and you like looking at naked bodies all day long and all these different things. Well, that's your business. However, I overlook those things that this brother represents. His nudie bar and even the word black supremacy. All those, I don't, I understand why you are coming from that angle. But I can easily overlook those things because I see more of the benefit more of the greatest potential. In fact, I see you growing up out of those things because you are different. And time requires that these black people in America, if you are going to be anyway, try to be or going to be a truly free people, you must begin to let go of the past. Let go of those old ideas and philosophies and, and thinking. Time to open up the door. The reason why I'm asking you to do those things is because clearly they don't work. They don't work. We have to open our minds to new ideas, new thoughts, new strategy. And King Noble represents reality. And that's what I love about him. If you listen to what Brother King Noble says, he is just like me, and that is why he is hated like me. That's why he is ignored like me, because he represents a reality black folks in this country don't want to face, especially those who are in leadership, because those who are in leadership benefit from this madness. But if they begin to change their mind and begin to think differently, then they can't sell their books. They can't sell their DVDs and CDs, all those things that they were making money and making a living off of, they can no longer do because they don't control the knowledge. Those who control the knowledge, those who control the strategy is not interested in making money off of you. We are interested in seeing us as a free people once and for all and get this beast off our back for our children's sake, at least to say our own in this lifetime. Those who live today, they are obsessed with the dead. All praises are due to Muhammad, Jesus. Oh, Malcolm did this in Garvey. All these people are dead. The dead cannot help you at all. And you give the living hell. You ignore what the living have to say. But also at the same time, you are taught that the answer to your prayers, this is what you're taught. The answer to your prayers come from out of the womb of a woman. And you pray and you pray. But if your God, if what you pray for does not come in the picture or in the form that you believe that that prayer should be answered, then you reject it. That's your number one mistake. Can you not see, can I not see that King Noble is a blessing to the black community? He is whether you like it or not. He is whether, whether anybody likes it or not. It is not no shock to me. I am not surprised that nobody out of all these black conscious folks, nobody want to step up to the plate and debate King Noble black supremacy. You know why they don't want to debate King Noble black supremacy? Because he thinks real fast 
And his knowledge is way above what they're talking about. And he'll smash them and they already know it. So why go somewhere where you already know you're going to be the loser before you even get into the ring? Bringing with them their Model T ideas while King Noble, black supremacy, is riding around in a black power, black supremacy, Lamborghini. There is only one person, I think, that could really debate King Noble Black Supremacy, and that's myself. But Black, but Angel Snuff Nuff Seven and King Noble, we're not going to debate anything because we're on the same side. Maybe going different ways, but the same goal, going to the same place. So what's the sense of debating? We own the same team, going to the same place. We want our people free once and for all. There was one time when I was going to go and work with King Noble and his people in Chicago. And as long as there's breath, that possibility still remains, except now King Noble has moved to Atlanta. This black power movement, this thing that we call black liberation, if, if we are truly going to liberate ourselves, you and I, we must understand that we are like a one cell organism and a one cell organism splits and it continues to split until it even becomes different from the original cell that it split from. But once these cells come together, although they are different, they know how to work together in order to make one organism work. And that's what this black liberation, uh, this is what we stand for. There are many of us, we are different cells, but we must know how and learn how to join together so that we can become one organism. And the ultimate goal is the freedom of us as a people, not to become a black version of Africans, not to become a black version of Europeans, but to become your own individual brand new species of self related to Africans related to Egyptians maybe related to the Moors but be yourself there are others who represent different ideas and strategy I think that we have to see the error in some of our thinking but we still need those different ideas so we need a Sara Sutton Seti. We need a brother polite. We need a brother Nacha Tuhudi. We need different ways of thinking. And let the dead rest. Let the dead rest in peace. But as long as you hold on to the dead and you are obsessed with dead things, then you will continue to smell. You will continue to rot. And you will continue to decompose. And that is what you're seeing right now in the black liberation struggle. Not a living people, but a people who are decomposing, claiming that somebody gave them life. But yet and still, you're the walking dead. Jot down your comments. Let's talk about it. Peace to King Noble, Sara Sutan Brother Polite, Nacho Tehuti, and all of us in this black struggle. I am the Angel Snuffin' Upset.